LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James, the greatest player of all time. If he gets a championship, which I expect next season, with Anthony Davis. The Lakers now have the best duo in the league. A 26-year-old, heart of his prime, superstar. Arguably the best defensive big man in basketball. Because if you go to the bucket, you will have to face Anthony Davis. That Paul George last night, if that Paul George is like that in the playoffs. Ball game. George makes his move, goes right at Davis, blocked by Davis. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Polo, and welcome back to another How to Play. Today, we balling out with the Los Angeles Lakers, led by Anthony Hitting, game winners, Davis. Yeah, I said it. And, of course, your finals MVP, first in Miami Heat, LeBron James. And shout out to all these new Lakers fans that came on a one-way trip from Cleveland. And if you're new to the channel, this is a series where I teach you how to play with these superstar players, but no cheese included. I try to play as realistic as 2K will possibly let you. So let's get into the strengths. First, we got Anthony Davis, and number one is his defense because not only is he big enough to guard your center, but he's fast enough to guard a guard. Second is his post game. His post game is lethal. Third, shooting, four, finishing, and those tie into his post game. Next, we got LeBron, and number one is his playmaking. That's the only way Danny Green, KCP, Alex Caruso, and Kyle Kuzma is going to score. Second, we got his finishing. Y'all know it. It's crazy. Third, his defense, very underrated. Fourth, his speed is not fair. And fifth, his size. That's, that's not even fair. He's at point guard. It's really not fair. Now to his badges. He has contact finisher and relentless finisher on Hall of Fame. So the paint... It's easy. Then you got Acrobat, Consistent Finisher, Crosskey Score, Fast Break Finisher, Pro Touch, Showtime, and Slithery Finisher. All those badges, plus LeBron attributes, that's the reason why I rarely took jump shots. I don't think I took more than two threes with LeBron. So, next for shooting badges, you got cl <laughs> Clutch Shooter, Deep Phase, Difficult Shots, Hot Start, Pick and Popper, Pump Fake Mastro, Tireless Shooter. Not to the good badges, Flexible Release, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter and Volume Shooter, and also Catch and Shoot with Dead Eye and Range Extender. So he can shoot, but I didn't shoot because I didn't need to. But for playmaking, you got Dimer, Pass Fake Mastro, that actually works. Bell Out on Goal, Break Starter, Downhill, Flashy Passer, Floor General, Needle Threader, Space Creator, and Stop and Go. Listen, there's only three people that's going to touch the ball. That's LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Rajon Rondo. Is that quick first up on bronze? What? So, Chase Down Artist is on Hall of Fame. Then you got Defensive Leader, Heart Crusader, Interceptor, Intimidator, Brick Wall. And that's really it about the defensive badges. But one thing that threw me off with these defensive badges. Chase Down Artist Hall of Fame, Rim Protector, Bronze. That doesn't make sense, all right? But, man, to Anthony Davis, he has kind of the same badges as LeBron. He's just not as fast, though. He has Acrobat, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Lob City Finisher, Pick and Roller, Put Back Boss, Relentless Finisher. He's set, all right? He is, and don't forget, he's 6'10", maybe. So, on to the shooting. And Anthony Davis, his shooting badges, they could have been way better. Difficult shots should have been on Hall of Fame, but he has deep phase, gold, pick and popper, and pump fake mastro. Corner specialist, difficult shots, hot zone hunter. And look at the bronze badges. All the badges you need are on bronze. And look at playmaking. Jeez, AD. So, defensive, we got box, brick wall, chase down artist, heart crusher, intimidator, moving truck. Actually, I ain't finna go back and forth. Y'all know ain't nothing sweet by AD in the paint. If you're trying to play with the Showtime Lakers, you gotta understand, ain't nothing easy going through that paint. Not giving up anything easy simply means protecting the pain with your life. The best way to do that is with blocks. The way you're gonna get blocks is by simply holding right trigger and pushing as hard as you can, triangle or wide, and you're gonna get the aggressive block animation. When going for blocks, what you have to look for is as soon as that shot meter pop up. When that shot meter pops up, it's go time. You can take the ball out the air, literally. One thing about playing great defense is you have to be in the right position. And for anybody that knows me, you know how much I hate off-balling. But for this team, if you don't off-ball, you're not going to be taking advantage of what you have. You have Anthony Davis and LeBron James. So you have to switch between the two of them. Whoever's closer to the ball, that's who you need to be on. So you can simply help out. Play the passing lane, cherry pick, all that. And if you don't want to play off-ball, I understand. Respect to you, my boy. So what you want to do is simply put LeBron James on their quickest, shiftiest player and try to take him out of the game. 
because the only weakness the Lakers have is that they can't guard guards, but LeBron can. And that's all you need to know about defense. Because we're on the fast break now, and there's two ways to run a fast break. You can either go up strong with LeBron, or you can pad his stats. I find that stat padding is more effective because it gets everybody going, and it makes you a wild card. The goal is to get LeBron's takeover activated because it gives your shooters a boost, and it boosts their takeover as well. So when running the fast break, just have your head up and just make the open pass, and it's that simple. It, there's nothing else about it. Just make the open pass and make the open shot. Whenever your opponent scores, guess what? Look down court because somebody's going to be open. Somebody's not back on defense and you can make that down court pass. Now that is one way to play, but how many more times? Are you going to pass to Danny Green? Sometimes you got to take things into your own hands and you got to know what you're going to do quick. We on a fast break. A thing I like to do when I'm dribbling is switch ball hands. It does a few things. It avoids reaching and charges. It makes you faster and it spreads the floor because you know, Bron, he's a wild card. You never know when he passing and if the floor is spread, it's a lot of open people. When it comes down to finishing, if I see an open lane, I'm taking flight. I'm out of there. If it's not, what I would do is I would double tap square or X and I will put my shoulder directly into somebody's chest, get them off me. But I seen Braun be allowed to do some incredible things. That's just another option though for some easy physical points, high percentage shots. Either you get into the line or you going up strong. The choice is yours. Just think fast. But you don't always got to think fast. When playing with AD, the game is slowed down. You just got to know who's guarding you. I played a lot of games for this video and I'm now just realizing there was only one real player that stood a chance when guarding AD and it was Giannis, but I gave him that word multiple times. Other than that, it's mismatch city. So if you're in a tight game, you may not be using AD enough and here's how you ball with him. You really have to understand who's guarding you. Basically, how you can use AD's strengths to their weaknesses. For example, KD, AD, same height, KD has long arms. Why would I go to the paint and try to dunk on him? Instead, I'm gonna use my strength, back him all the way down and guess what? Step back, my boy. Look at him. He had no chance. I ain't playing no games with him. One shimmy, I'm out of there. If you're going to get somebody that's smaller than you, what I like to do is simply go to the post. Or even if he's a no-name, you go to the post and you hit him with that half spin. And I say easy dunking traffic. Because when you go to the post, a lot of people, they not moving. They ready for you to make contact with him. So if you see he's not making contact and he's not moving at all, what you want to do is simply hit him with that spin and get out of there. If you're going against a center that's too big, yeah, he can block shots but he doesn't have the speed to keep up with AD. One thing about AD, the center probably gonna be guarding him most of the time, so that means there's not a center in the paint. What I like to do is I like to get AD out in the perimeter of the three-point line, and I like to hit whoever that's guarding me with a jab step, run past him because AD has a 77 speed. Did y'all know that? So once I run past him, there's no help, and that's easy, too easy. AD is a whole mismatch. If you're too small, he's going to do whatever he want to do on you. If you're just not strong enough, he's going to body you. And if you're too big, either he's running past you or he's simply shooting over you. What can you do? There's nothing to do. I know what y'all boys thinking. You're going to tell me about these deep fades. No, I'm not telling you about the deep fades. Only unless they're in the zone. That's the open shot. But if they're in the zone, the only thing you have to do is make the open pass. The Lakers, they have a freelance set called three out active. And the only thing that is, is LeBron at the top of the key. And the only thing you have to do is throw it to Danny, how many more green, or KCP. And whoever's open, you take the wide open shot. Beating a 2 3 zone is not hard. You just got to make your shots. And if they play in the passing lanes heavy, just run right through it with LeBron and it's open. Another thing you can do whenever you shoot the ball, if you miss, you get the rebound. Throw the ball to LeBron and then throw it to the next person. And that should be an easy way to get assists in the half court setting. It works a lot of the time. You really just got to make your shots. And if they're not in the zone, the pick and roll will be your best friend because they got to worry about either getting dunked on by AD or getting dunked on by LeBron. Once LeBron gets his takeover, you got to worry about all his shooters. And then you got to worry about pick and fade situation. It's just too much going on. So make sure you hit him with the pick and roll. But man, I hope y'all boys enjoy. I feel like this is a banger. So y'all boys, go ahead and leave a like, share. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe because your boy posting a lot. But man, it's your boy Polo and I'm out. Oh, and enjoy these highlights and yeah. For real, I'm still here. For real, Skip.